Oh, I was shot at by the Taliban so people could do that. Well, 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 looky here. It's a letter from the city of Lanford. I know what that is. Clean up your yard or we'll do it. All right, gang, anything you don't want, put in the yard. No. Nope. It's a permit to start construction on a backyard chicken coop. Oh, I waited at the mailbox for two weeks and it comes today. <laughs> is gonna be great. I applied for this so we could have eggs that are organic and healthy and think about how much money we're gonna save. How big do you think our egg budget is? <laughs> no way we're doing this. You won't even know it's here. I'll handle everything except, of course, building it. You'd have to do that. We don't need to build anything. I think the chickens will be plenty warm right in here. <laughs> I was school today, and wouldn't coming home be even better if you had your very own chicken coop? We're getting a chicken coop? I want that so bad. What is it? Mary, what would you name your chicken? Don't. Cornflakes, I love her so much already. Please, Grandpa, we don't have any pets. I have no way to pay forward the love you give me. Please, Grandpa Dan. Fine. I'll build you a chicken coop. Yay! Oh, well, if we don't make the Hillbilly Hall of Fame now, I don't know what else we can do. <laughs> Is Aunt Jackie picking me up soon? Pretty soon. Now that you're done with the tables, I'm going to let you marry all the ketchups. <laughs> no kid has been allowed to do that before. We're reading Tom Sawyer this year. I know what you're doing. <laughs> You know, I was as smart as you, and look what happened. Mark ready to go? Not yet. He's having fun. Let him stay a bit. What you got there? Huh? It's just a quiz. <gasps> oh, are you financially ready to start a family? I love these quizzes. <laughs> Did you know I'm a woman other women hate? I know it's just a dumb magazine quiz, but I'm really stressed about being able to afford a baby. Do you have six months of emergency savings? Who has that? I'm a single working mom. I'm gonna need daycare. I'm gonna need insurance. I'm gonna need baby furniture. That's not counting unexpected things. Like what? I don't know, they're unexpected. <laughs> Look, I did the whole quiz. I am completely financially unprepared to have a baby. I'm screwed. Look how much money you're saving by not drinking while you're pregnant. What's that? <laughs> 600, 700 bucks a month. Is that really how much you think I drink? That is so hurtful. That's like $20 a day. Huh, it might be that much. <laughs> Maybe more. No, well, I'm just saying. You know, you're doing really good not drinking for the baby. How many days has it been? 21 brutal days. But, you know, working at a bar and serving drinks all day really keeps my mind off it. <laughs> Ketchups are married. Oh, somebody wrote Aunt Becky sucks on the wall back there. <laughs> Could have been anybody. See you later. Bye, Aunt Becky. <clears throat> oh, Andrea. Jackie. Hi, I saw you on Facebook. Congratulations on the baby. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. I'm sorry I had to block you. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I'm a woman other women hate. Great catching up. Yeah. Andrea. Hey, hey. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I saw your Instagram post about the drink of the month. Candy cane margarita sounded fantastic, so I came down. It's really just a regular margarita with a little crushed up Altoid in it. <laughs> come on, you didn't come all the way here just for a drink. Truth, I wanted to talk to you. Why me? Oh, when we were going through the surrogacy together, I always felt like I could talk to you and you wouldn't judge me. Well, not to your face. That's not cool. <laughs> So what's wrong? Remember how bad I wanted a baby? Yeah. I can't find that feeling anymore. I'm really struggling with being a mom. Well, look how cute he is. Yeah, it's because he's sleeping. <laughs> you never realize how selfish babies can be. I mean, they never leave you alone. How hard is it to get away from a baby? You just put it down and walk away. The baby's not going to find you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just really been a rough day. But you have money. Don't you have nannies and stuff? 
Yeah, I have nannies, I have a diaper service, I have food delivery, and it's still virtually impossible. I mean, I have no idea how poor people do it. Wow, so you really regret having a baby? You have no idea how lucky you are that you can't. Oh, yeah. Boy, am I lucky. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, what am I doing? It's the Altoid. It's weird, right? No. No, it's not that. I might as well tell you. I'm pregnant. You are gonna love being a mom! The Connors is recorded in front of a live studio audience. So I just got bored of being retired. I was going to travel, but turns out I'm frightened of people different than me. So maybe stick to the Cracker Barrel and you'll be fine. Here you go. Oops. Drops your tip. Nice try. I'm not bending down so you can look at my ass again. Didn't mean to insult you. How about for a 10? Wow, thank you. What a jerk. He tried to make me bend down for $10. Management won't do anything because he's a high roller. Here's how I deal with creepy guys. I say, show me yours, and I'll show you mine. <laughs> Most of the time it works, but the rest of the time it's pretty gross. Hey, guys. Do you mind if I sit down? I had kind of a crazy day. What can I get you? Actually, we wanted to talk to you first. If either of you had a bad reaction to the chili rellenos last night, I have a form for you to fill out. No. It's not that. Um, look, we know that you're worried about raising this baby alone, and you know that we've been looking to adopt, so what would you think about maybe all of us doing this together? What do you mean? We'd adopt your baby, and we'd all raise it. I mean, the baby would live with us, but you'd be over all the time, and we'd pay all the expenses. Wow, I did not see this coming. <laughs> we know you have to work, and I work out of the house, so I could be with the baby all day, and Bridget has great benefits. Post office. <laughs> this is a lot. Just need some time to think. I'll be right back with your food. We didn't order. <laughs> Just eat whatever she brings you. We're trying to get a baby. Good morning, Dad. Is it? <laughs> that would indicate that I'd slept. I've been up all night, like many accomplished men, knocking cats off my chicken coop with a broom. I can't believe we built a coop for chickens. I, mean, I could never even get a tree house. You broke your wrist walking across a room. We weren't going to put you in a tree. Corn Flakes has an STD. No, honey. The vet said she has PTSD. <laughs> According to the vet, Corn Flakes was traumatized by the cat attack. We can expect loss of appetite, irritability, possibly night terrors. Okay, Mark. Take Corn Flakes out to the coop. Well, actually, until Corn Flakes stabilizes, she needs to live in the house. And she also has a tranquilizer she needs to take every four hours. The doctor recommends that we take turns holding her until she falls asleep. The chicken is not living in the house with us. I never thought I'd have to say that. Come on, guys. Let's put cornflakes back in the coop. This is insane. 
My back is killing me because I've been up all night dealing with kamikaze cats hurling themselves at a chicken coop in my backyard. Next time you have a harebrained...